So, um, oh, just a heads up, if all of a sudden my glasses drop off my face, my, my dog decided to chew them up the other day, so I took them in to the doctors today and uh, tried to patch them up. So, uh, there's little chips in them, and they've got them back in here, although I feel like they're a little bit, um, I don't think they're aligned right, so I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Anyway, hopefully, you know, glasses are very expensive. And come to find out, I haven't been to the eye doctor in uh, years. So, and eye doctor's appointments are a lot more expensive than I remember them six or seven years ago, too. Anyway, hopefully, but if they suddenly fall off my face or they fall out, don't freak out. I'll just take them off and continue on. Uh, yeah, so... Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, I've got this. M. Grace says, I have a question. Don't you think that every human here has the potential to start to remember and wake up? And, uh, of course, everyone has the potential to, but most of them are not going to because everybody comes for their own reason, and all of this was pre-planned and pre-set. You came from uh, most places there is not amnesia. So many of the creations and most of the creations that you go to, you're very aware of who you are and you're very aware of, and they don't have time space either, that linear human thinking of time space. So it is for the reason of amnesia and for the reason of forgetting who you are that people came here. So frequently they're not going to remember who they are because that is not what they came for. They came to forget, not remember. But when you're in a human time-space linear thinking game, there's a lot of tendency with humans to go, well, you want to start here, and then you go step, 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 and there's an end result, and you go from here to here, and this is better than here. And if you start here and you go the wrong direction, you get worse, and that's a bad thing. So moving forward towards a goal is a good thing. Moving backwards is a bad thing, except that's just an illusion. In reality... Most of the beings that come here come on purpose to forget who they are, to have the experience of not being a creator god. They did not come here for rainbows and butterflies. They did not come here for a happy, happy, joy, joy place. There are many, 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 many places that you can go and have that experience. This experience is, rather, is very unique because it, because it is not that. Like I've told you before, the beings that come here are like the, um, the extreme sports of the spirit world. They want the extreme experience. They want to forget completely who they are. They want to have very, very challenging situations that they deal with from that perspective. That's why they do it. Now with starseeds, starseeds did, although they will also have the experience of 3D, 4D linear thinking human, because we don't waste any time at all whenever we're experiencing things. But a starseed came for a separate thing as well. They came to help Gaia go from one dimension to another. That's what they came to assist for. That's what a starseed came for. So because of the fact that they came to do that job primarily, they have less amnesia. And they will, as they get closer to the job that they're supposed to have, depending upon what job it is, they may or may not um, lose that amnesia. Many star seeds do not have any reason to lose the amnesia. They're doing what they need to do at night, and they have no reason to. They can sit and float around and just be a human and stay right where they are. There is no need for enlightenment or any of that stuff. The reason why I died and came back and have that knowledge and others may or may not have the amnesia is based on what the goal was for this experience with that individual creator god and the sooner that you can understand this and really really understand it that we all are from perfection we all are creator gods we all have that the entities that come here did not come to play um fun fun joy joy games they came for a very, very intense, unique experience. Okay, does that make sense? That should also work nicely with the last one, 
where I suggest that you just pull away from them. When you get involved in one of their games, you get too close to it, pull back and look at it through those eyes. You don't need to help them become enlightened. They're, they don't need, nothing is broken here. Nothing needs help. All the creator gods know exactly what they're doing. Okay? If they are in a lifetime where they want to become enlightened, they want to remember, they will. If you're drawn to help somebody with this information, then do so. If they are wanting to just have a little tickle at it, they may listen to you or tune out part of the way or bite back at you, but it really doesn't matter. They may be taking that information for 10 years from now so they can re, uh, remember it and then become enlightened or remember who they are. Who knows what the game is? They have countless, endless different ways of playing the game, and they're all valid and they're all important. But the big thing to remember is star seeds are different in that there's another part of the game that most of the rest of the beings are not playing, and that's in direct uh, response to a call from Gaia. Everybody else is here doing exactly what they want to do, and they did not come here to have a life as a human and remember that they are God. That's not why they came. Uh, they can do that when they die. And even though dying for humans is, is scary, for the entity that came here to be a human, it's not scary at all. So they can in, spend an entire lifetime in a being a what you would consider a bad guy or having a life full of very traumatic events. And that would be exactly what they want because they want that experience, that unique, um, really, really deep, heavy-duty um, intense experience of being exactly the opposite of the creator God that we normally run around and be. Okay, does that make sense? Alrighty then. Okay, huge hugs. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, yeah, bye.